for the final of the S2 Supermoto European Championship 2019, we are back in Italy and racing in Sestrieri. Situated in Piemonte, the track has once again been set up for the riders to race through the streets of this Alpine village. Perhaps best known for the mountain sports of skiing and snowboarding, the highest village in Italy has a year-round population of fewer than a thousand, which swells to over 20,000 in the winter. 15 kilometers from the French border and 100k from Turin, it has hosted the Tour de France and the Giro d'Italia. As a previous venue for the Winter Olympics, the residents of Sestriere are ready to welcome a bit of supermoto action to their sporting portfolio. Uh, first off-road part of this track and uh, I, I think it's most difficult for me because as you see it's uh, covered all with uh, loose gravel and uh, from the beginning it's a little bit bumpy and, but the speed is quite high when you come to the chicane. This is the main line of the most of the riders and from here we go down in with full gas. Here we find ourselves in the part where we pass from the off-road to the asphalt. It's one of my favourite bits because high speeds are reached and at the end we brake very hard. As you can see from the braking here, you get very fast. I really like it here because you get in the slider, then you straighten the bike up to pass around the back and then brake hard again and make a U-turn to enter the second part of the off-road. And we're off on our track preview with Jolie Filippetti and Patrick Pals with a long sweeping left-hander. And then it's hard on the brakes as they turn hard right and up the hill towards that gravel section that Pals was talking about. Left and right through a little chicane and then, yep, there is that gravel section. No jumps here in Sestriere this weekend, just gravel and chicanes and back out onto the asphalt. And then there is that U-turn that we were hearing about that takes you, drops you down onto the second dirt section. Back out onto the asphalt in a tight right-hander. Then more to a more sweeping left. It's a pretty short lap here in Sestriere, less than a minute for the top riders. Another chicane on the asphalt, taking as straight a line as possible. A short straight, then another flip-flop through the barriers. Lastly, into another right-hander, and that completes the lap here in Sistrieri. It's the final, and despite an impressive unbeaten record this season, Thomas Scherer of TM Factory Racing Team still has to keep his wits about him. Marcus Klaas is only 39 points behind, and Scherer needs 11 points to secure victory in the European Championship and take the double world and European titles for the second time. The Phoenix Racing Armada was on fire in the practice laps. Marcus Klaas taking pole position a fraction of a second ahead of Scherer, Milan Sitniansky and Emmerich Bruno of Gatza Honda Racing. It's midday and 18 riders are off here in Sestriere for race one. Klaas takes the whole shot, followed by Scherer, Kuzan, Sitniansky and Samartin. On board with Emmerich Buno in fifth place as Kuzan, Sitniansky come past. Bikes touching with Sitniansky as they head up towards the first gravel section. Buno still behind Sitniansky. Can't quite get past on this beautiful but chilly day in the Alps. And Buno is down into the gravel then that Pals warned us about and he slips. Marcus Klaas still in the lead there, followed by Scherer, Kuzan and Sitniansky. Glass still ahead of Scherer as they come round into lap two. And there's a battle going on for 12th place between Luca Dadato and Marcelo Silverio. That's Emmerich Buno too, dropping really far back after his fall. Back on board with him as he sticks to Silverio, trying to claw back, and he goes past. He manages to get into 11th place. And we can see here how technical and slippery this gravel section is. Lap three, Class still leading from Scherer through the chicanes and holding the world champion at bay. Michael Vertimati just ahead of Luca Dadato here in a battle for 10th place.
Charrier closing in on class here in lap five with Nicola Cousin still in contact in third. On board with Jolie Filippetti along one of the flat straights and he, oh, oh no, someone is down. It's Yuri Catherine. Uh, we hope that wasn't too serious. Filippetti carries on past chasing down Yannick Hintz in sixth place. Absolutely gorgeous scenery here as Hintz, the current junior leader, comes around the track, still trailing Filippetti, the current leader of the Lights Cup. We're back on board with Filippetti through the gravel section. Ah, Luca Dadato makes a sneaky move past and into seventh place. Back out onto the asphalt and Filippetti is trying to hang on to Dadato. Lap nine, Marcus Klaas has had a puncture. Oh no, Thomas Scherer has capitalized and takes the lead from Milan Sitniansky, now three seconds behind the leader in second. Scherer shows us how it's done in the gravel as Nicola Cousin in third tries to keep Elia Samartin at bay. Marcus Glass is clawing his way back from the very back, sitting in 14th position after an incredible first half to the race. He has some really unfortunate setback last few races, but Scherer capitalizing on that. There's a man happy to see Klaas disappear down the ranking. Milan Sitniansky now in second behind the race and championship leader. Another Phoenix racing team rider doing well in fourth place, Elias Samartin. He's had a consistent season, really doing well in the championships. And Thomas Scherer streaks around the track, surely the most picturesque of the season, and comes home to take his ninth championship win of the season. With class finishing 13th, he also takes the championship title for 2019. Race results uh, for race one, Thomas Scherer, 20 laps in 20 minutes, 32, followed by Sitniansky, Cousin, Samartin and Hintz. For the last Zoom of the season, let's take a look at wheels. For 49 years we've been producing off-road wheels, and for 23 of those we've been producing specialised wheels for Supermoto. We've developed patents to make the wheels even better for the teams. Together with the teams we continue to develop the wheels to improve performance. Recently, we started working with Bar Tubeless company to lighten the wheels. The wheel hubs, thanks to the collaboration of Nuova Foire, are ultralight in Ergal to give mechanical and torsional resistance to always give the maximum in this world that is always evolving. While in use, the wheels are subjected to violent compressions, so for 23 years, in addition to producing the wheels, FABA is present at circuits to give our customers assistance. The supermoto world never stops, the bikes evolve and consequently FABA evolves with them. Welcome to race two. It's half past two in the afternoon here in Sestrieri and they're off. Class taking the whole shot ahead of Scherer and Cousin. On board with Emmerich Bruno again as he is third, having overtaken Cousin. It's not often we see the blue and yellow of Scherer sitting behind someone, but Marker, oh, Cousin is back. Overtaking Bruno on the short straight just before the chicane. And there they are heading into the gravel and the first four are staying together quite nicely. Emmerich. Bruno is back out on to the asphalt there. Class, Scherer, Cousin, Bonu and Sitniansky as we come into lap two and oh no, Scherer is down. He slips coming to the first corner and Nicola Cousin goes into second. He has the title in the bag but he makes his first major error of the season. Cousin hunting down Class, but Class has a lot to prove after his last three races. Class, Cousin, Emmerich Bruno in third, who's not a usual player up here in the top three. Let's hope he fares better on the gravel of this race. On board with Jolie Filippetti in 12th place as... Oh, oh, Yuri Catherine has another crash and a wobble. And they're both down. Lap 10 and Marcus Klaas is still leading. 
But look at that, despite crashing, Thomas Scherer has clawed his way back up in the field and is already in fifth place behind Milan Sitnyansky. Eero Madison, someone we have not seen much of in the last few races. He is from Finland and coming through neatly on the chicane there. Still class from Cousin in lap 13 and the battle is on as they wend their way through the chicanes. But what's this? Thomas Scherer is now behind Cousin, having picked off Sitnyansky and Buno. Lap 16 and Nicola Cousin is in the lead but is being hunted down by the world champion Scherer. Not content with his new European title, he wants a clean sweep in all 10 races this championship. Thomas Scherer is back in the lead. The sheer class and determination of the Frenchman is just too much for his fellow countrymen and he takes his usual place at the front of the pack and wins the last race of the season in an incredible comeback and to take the European Championship. The overall results of the races, Thomas Scherer, 50 points ahead of Cousin, Sitnyansky, Buno and Elia Samartin in fifth. There he goes, Thomas Scherer, 10 races, 10 victories. He wins the final round here in Sestrieri and congratulates his worthy competitors. He has had an incredible season and despite that little last tumble, he still managed to win 10 out of 10. What? a super moto superstar and he wins the 2019 supermoto championship title and replaces his season-long red plate with the gold plate for the european champion what a season what a great weekend unbelievable taking the title after the first race lifted a huge weight for me but after the first race, I really wanted to win the second one to take the Grand Slam by winning all the races this season. At the first corner, I fell and the dream slipped away. But I felt really good and I was so fast. So little by little, as it was a long race, I managed to win. Unbelievable. Quite emotional. Incredible. Thanks to everyone and see you in Caroli in two weeks. So the European Championship has come to an end with Thomas Scherer with a maximum 250 points ahead of Marcus Klaas, Elia Samartin, Milan Sitnyansky, Nicola Cousin, Julie Filippetti making up the top six. Thanks for watching. The championship is over, but we'll see you in a couple of weeks in Carole in France for the Super Moto of Nations. I'm Katie Friend. Bye-bye.